welcome to the manifestation destination. If you're new, I'm sorry, but you're not going to be seeing me in this video, but I still want to introduce myself. Hello, my name is Alyssa Marie, and yet again, as always, if you're returning, I am so glad to have you guys back because that means you're enjoying the content and the videos that I've been posting. Today's video is going to be a little bit different from what I've been posting on my channel so far. And honestly, I'm pretty excited to show this to you guys. So prior to me even filming this video, I had done a little bit of research and surprisingly, there's not a whole lot of business tours on YouTube. So naturally, me wanting to be unique and different and offer you guys a little bit of flavor to your YouTube variety, I decided to do a business tour of my own. If you've been following my channel for a while, you'll definitely know that I have mentioned multiple times that my family owns a business. And fortunately for us, we own a restaurant, carry-out, diner-ish type of restaurant. In fact, in this clip, you can see exactly what our business looks like. To give you guys a little bit of a backstory, my family actually founded this business, or our business, in 2018. This inspiration to own a business was totally impromptu. Long story short, my family and I would drive up to my college, and on the way we had noticed that there was a dairy barn pretty much out in the middle of nowhere. And after many thoughts and much preparation, we decided that we could definitely give it a chance to own a business like the dairy barn that we discovered on our own. Of course, I have to give credit where credit's due. I would be lying to say that I was the sole operator and owner of the business. To be honest with you guys, again, it's actually my mom who's been the brain, the muscle, and the ultimate owner of this business since we were founded in 2018. And she has done nothing but an amazing job of creating a place where families can come, eat some food, get an ice cream cone, and just unplug from the daily routine of life and actually step back and enjoy some peace and quiet out in the country. So enough of the blabber, <laughs> let me just take you on the tour and hopefully you guys enjoy. Be sure to stick around to the complete end because there are a lot of things that will be shown that I think you guys will find interesting. So without further ado, let's get into the fun part of the video. So like you guys saw in the last clip, the first thing you really see is the overall building and kind of the seating area that we do have. Unfortunately, at this time, we do not have indoor seating, which has definitely been a disadvantage because we have lost several customers due to the fact of us not having said indoor seating. So we make do with what we have. We have a couple of picnic benches and we have a bench. That way families can come and enjoy. We knew curb appeal was going to be very important in attracting different customers to come and purchase some food from us. And we knew that curb appeal was super important in the equation of being successful. So this shot kind of shows you guys the exterior a little bit better. We definitely prided ourselves on how we wanted our building to look. Um, we were kind of going for a ski lodge, rustic theme. So this is actually the first thing that you see when walking up to our door. Yes, we are currently hiring, but this is the first sight that you get when walking into our building. And look at that orange, it's so bright. <laughs> and this is one of the highlights of our building in my humble, not so humble opinion and that is our ceiling. We knew that we wanted very high ceilings just to add to that curb appeal and the attraction when someone walks in. It's so neat. Of course, there's always an echo in there, but it took us forever 
to figure out exactly how we wanted the ceiling to look as far as dies go. And of course, like I said, I'm going to show you guys pretty much everything in the building. This is the women's restroom. Obviously, you guys know what goes into a restroom. So just glancing briefly over this. Hi. <laughs> oh, almost forgot the baby changing station. One of the most important parts. And now to the men's restroom. Enter if you dare. Just kidding. It's a bad joke. But seriously, sometimes the men's restroom can get a little scary. Sad that we have to have that reminder, but necessary. <laughs> Yet again, typical bathroom. We do have different colored paint in both bathrooms just to make it a little different and unique. And yes, we did include a baby changing station here too because it is the 21st century and dads should also be expected to change diapers as well as moms. So here is the first look that you get when coming up to our counter. We acquired some of like the little decorative things throughout our time, but we are grateful, thankful, and blessed to have this business, even though there is a lot of work that goes into it. And here's the view that we get to see every single day. It's so neat because we are actually able to see that woods change throughout every single season. So right now it's kind of brown and dead, but soon we'll be seeing leaves sprout. And this is our quote, seating area. <laughs> yes, we have little chairs for little people. The kids that come in love these chairs. And now for the grand reveal, some of the behind the scenes. Are you guys ready? Here we go. So this is the view when you first walk in. So let's just go on a generalized walkthrough first. Don't worry about what, everything that I'm missing because we'll get to that in a second. Just wanna go, take you guys through to show you exactly how many sections there are. So we just came from the front section. We're currently in the middle section, which has all of the hot dogs and like the sandwich prep area. Oh, and this is our office. We'll get here in a minute. Hi DJ or Diana, she's mom. She's cool. She says hi back. <laughs> and then this is the back section. So we have pizza area. We have a pizza area. And we make all of our grilled and fried food back in this area as well. So like I said, we'll get into the We'll get into the nitty gritty in a minute, but for right now, just wanted to show you an overview. So when you first walk in, on the right, there's a wall with all kinds of pictures. And these pictures are basically our crewmates. Over the last couple of years, I've tried to make it a point to do what I call a family photo night one day in the summer just to capture our crew member for that year and to have some memories as well. So we have two types of ice cream machines. They're both Taylor made, or Taylor products, but this first one is actually a gravity pump. 
which means that it relies on gravity to bring the ice cream through the machine, which can be really slow. Actually, this machine we use strictly for vanilla ice cream and what we call Dole Whip, which is a very popular selection in Disney World. And as you can see, we actually have a watermelon magnet. <laughs> One of our kids had made those for us. And we have the sink, very important for washing our hands. Want to keep things cleanly and sanitized. And we just use the Dial brand soap to wash our hands. Second machine we have is actually an air pump, which makes pulling ice cream so much faster, so much efficient. Off in this little corner, it's pretty much where we start all of our ice cream products. And we found this cup stand, which has been an absolute lifesaver in trying to make things a little bit more efficient. We have 10 ounce cups, 16 ounce cups, 20 ounce cups, and 32 ounce cups. And yes, you can order a milkshake in the 32 ounce cups. So this is pretty much where all of our ice cream orders start and have all of the different containers that we use. And of course, it wouldn't be an ice cream place without cones. I was having trouble trying to get this thing to turn. <laughs> of course, I can't film with 100% ease. There we go. So we have the small, we have medium. There we go. <laughs> and we have large and waffle cones. So yet again, a super simple and easy way to store our cones. This is one of our personal operating systems or our POS systems. We'll get into this tour later because there's a lot that goes into this. Obviously we have phones by the POS to take phone call orders. We have another POS system. So that first one we use strictly for call-in orders. This is for walk-in orders. So these are actually rocks that I ordered off of Amazon. They help us weight down some of the tickets. That way they don't go away when we open up the window to pass out food and ice cream. And on this particular day, I had forgotten that my dad had actually broke down the ice cream machines. Hence why there are ice cream machine guts everywhere literally everywhere <laughs> so dad and one other member of our team knows how to put back the machine i have yet to get to this point someday just not today as you can see there's a lot that goes into it so currently part of these guts <laughs> are actually on our milkshake banana split area um, so on this table we have our different flavorings, so we have the strawberry shake syrup, and then we also have vanilla, yet again I was struggle bussing, <laughs> trying to show you guys, there we go, <laughs> so we have the vanilla, and then we also have our malt flavoring, and then you can see bananas and vanilla wafers that we use on our banana cream pie chillers, so good by the way. And this is just our ice cream topping cooler table. We have all of our different toppings. So we have peanut butter, we have chocolate, we have strawberry, we have butterscotch, which is awful because it's so sticky and it's hard to clean without wasting products. Pineapple, cherry, and marshmallow. And this is totally my bad, but I prepped an extra pineapple. <laughs> so that's why we have two of those. And down here we just keep our chiller candies. Yes, I said chiller. We'll get there in a minute. 
And over here, we have a nice, oh, gotta show you guys the paper towel rack. But we just keep our peanuts, our crunch coat, and caramel. This is our dipper machine. So if you guys have had chocolate dipped cones, this is exactly what they look like. So from left to right, we have chocolate, butterscotch, and birthday cake. To be honest, birthday cake is probably my favorite. It tastes so good. And this is our hot fudge machine. It warms the hot fudge. This is only part of it. The other part was drying. But again, storage area. And this is our milk dispenser. At this time of filming, <laughs> there was no milk in it. And over here we just have a condiment caddy so it keeps all of our napkins and condiments. And we have spoons, forks, knives, and bigger spoons for larger chillers. And because we have so many different products and deliveries, we have to make do with the space that we have, which means being very creative in how we store our products. And these are our chiller machines. Like I said, they are chiller machines. So you know how Dairy Queen serves blizzards, but we don't say the B word in our store. So we refer to them as chillers. Ultimately, you just stick the cup of ice cream in, the spindle stirs everything up, and you have a chiller at the end. And we use Sonos systems for music. Love these speakers, they're so neat. And just another condiment caddy with lids. And this is our second drive-through. So we aim to deliver food and products out of this window. And then we have our Coke machine. And these are all of the different flavors of drinks that we offer at this time. Our customers don't know this as of yet, but we're actually adding sweet tea and unsweetened tea, which I am super stoked because, yet again, if you've been following me, you know my love for sweet tea. And this is just the hookup for the Coke machine or the pop machine. Here's our carbonation units. And this is our giant ice machine. Yes, I mean giant. This is probably the size that hotels use for their customers. And yes, we have a check the list list. At one point in time, our kiddos weren't necessarily doing their best to try to keep things clean. So we tried to fix that as best as we could. And like you can see, we definitely take pride in our store being clean. So this is just another storage rack. It holds lots of products. This is our hot dog prep station and cooler. Down here we just keep like extra foods like hot dogs, cone sauce, condiments, strictly for hot dogs. And then up here, yet again, we keep additional toppings. So we have jalapenos, we have relish, onion, cheese. And I think these are jalapenos. It took me forever to try to figure out exactly what those were, but I'm pretty sure they're jalapenos. And one thing that we focus on at DJ's is just details. So we always try to make it a point to write a personalized thank you message on all of our bags. Yes, it takes time to do that, but yet again, it shows our appreciation and just small touches makes the experience so much more special. Here's more storage because we have to be creative. <laughs> And this is our food warmer. Currently, we only have pony sauce that stays in this and is heated. We're thinking about adding barbecue pulled pork. We'll see what the season brings. This is our cheese dispenser because we do serve nacho fries or we do serve chili cheese fries. We have to have cheese for that. This is our microwave. It just heats up hot dogs or shredded chicken.
and like I said, we do serve Dole Whip, which is basically a staple at Disney World. If you've had Dole Whip, definitely leave a comment. And this is our hot dog steamer. Basically steams and warms up the hot dogs. This is another storage system in our clock. And here are the rest of the flavors that we serve. So we serve cherry, pineapple, raspberry, mango, strawberry, and orange. I skipped over lemon and lime because we don't really serve those. Yet again, this is where we store all of our dishes and utensils and some food products. And the bread rack. <laughs> For all of those carboholics, let me know. <laughs> Is this not a dream come true? <laughs> and then this is our toaster. So we put buns just to get toasted. We're thinking about getting rid of this, but I'll let you guys know any updates later. And we prep food and sides here as well. And this is our drying rack. So technically we are supposed to allow dishes to dry, which makes it very hard because it's such a limited space. We have to utilize it well. And this is our dish area, so it has all of our soaps and sanitizers and rags for washing, very important as well. And our three sink compartment for washing, rinsing, and drying in that order. And our dump sink, yet again, sorry, my dad was breaking down machines and cleaning them. Now this door, we will not be going into because quite frankly, it is a disaster zone and highly unorganized and the world is not ready for it. And of course our kids leave all kinds of messages for us. <laughs> this is our walk-in cooler and freezer unit and this is where we basically keep all of our products that are tended, that are supposed to be frozen and or cooled. And we have lots of milk crates that we need to return. <laughs> and just condiments, everything that's open that needs to be refrigerated. Oh, that brownie sheet. Yeah, those brownies are amazing, by the way. They're the Pillsbury brownie brownies. They have like chocolate chunks in them. So good. Just store them or clean on these racks, industrial storage racks. And over on this side, we keep our ice cream mix as well. And up on that top shelf, it's just personal things. Obviously, you know who that sweet pea is for. Hint, hint. <laughs> and now this is our freezer section. So it has all of our frozen sides and boxes, because we don't take them out of boxes, bacon bits and stuff. Everything that's prepped in the freezer stays in here, all the boxes. <laughs> and of course, we have to keep our candies in here as well. So we have all kinds of candy options, which I'll get into in a minute. So we have Oreo, we do brownie bites, and then we do mint chocolate chip, Butterfinger, cookie dough, which is super good, Buckeyes, M&M's, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Oop, and then we have dessert cakes for our strawberry shortcake dessert, super good. All right, on to the back section and the last section. So the first thing on our list to check out is this freezer. So you might be asking why we have two freezers. Well, honestly, it's just for efficiency. It takes a lot of time to run in and out of the freezer just to get a side that you need prep. Oh, I'm frustrated. These freezers actually lock <laughs> after you open one side and you shut it. 
just to try to keep things cool. So you have to wait about 30 seconds to open either side. And these are our pizza machines, which we actually have two, so they're stacked on top of each other. Essentially, you can adjust the temperature and the time it takes the pizza to go through the machine on the conveyor belt. Super cool, and this is one of my favorite stations to play with because every time it produces the perfect pizza. Speaking of pizza, this is our pizza prep table. And underneath, we just keep um, sauce cups and extra condiments for sandwiches and burgers. Same thing on this side, just an extension. It's kind of looking bare and empty because <laughs> this was actually filmed when we were open only four days a week. And this is our pizza area, so we have the marinara sauce. Cheese would go here, pepperoni bacon bits and sausage, and then we move into condiments and dipping sauces. And of course, we go over here, there's even more toppings, so all of the toppings for burgers are here. I do apologize for the mess in that. <laughs> no, I wasn't purposely ignoring it. It's just unfortunately, we do not have time to keep everything clean and stick and stand. And this is just a table that we decorate our sandwiches or prep our sandwich buns. We have our ticket printer, which prints all of our tickets for the kitchen. And we have another microwave. Hi again. <laughs> and then we have timers and various different um, containers and wrappings and napkins. And we have our grill, which does the majority, if not all, of the cooking for our sandwiches. And this is our food warmer, so we put food under here just to keep warm until the customer gets here. We are cooked to order, which means that as soon as we take the order, we start prepping the order, meaning that we do not have burgers lying around getting cold and gross like <laughs> McDonald's. But not here to throw shade, just to inform. <laughs> And these are our fryers, so naturally every fast food place has fryers. And this is our hood system. It's pretty extensive, but it gets the job done. And then this is our first, oh, actually this is our POS. <laughs> we have three total POSs. And then we have our first window, yet again, our kids trying to be comedians. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Oh, actually I almost forgot to show you guys the office. Let's see what DJ's up to. Alright, so when you walk in, this is the first thing you see. This poster has become an iconic form of DJs. Literally everyone has signed it. It's been around for a year. <sighs> and these are just some of the postings that we have to have for the government. Yet again, kids being funny. <laughs> and that just goes to our TV, that way we can actually get a signal. This is where we store rags and stuff. Honestly, since filming this video, we have updated the office <laughs> and organized things a lot more neatly. There's DJ, hard at work as always, operating the business. This is her desk. Yes, her desk. We just borrow it. <laughs> and that's where I store all of my crap. <laughs> or hold snacks and other miscellaneous items that I need from time to time. So instead of carrying it back from home to shop, from home to shop, I just keep it there and I have it whenever I need it. So that 
that was a lot to go through with you guys. If you stayed throughout the entire video, yay! <laughs> I'm glad that you hung in there like troopers. I know that it was a rather long video, but yet again it was new and to be candid with you guys, I actually had a lot of fun filming this for you guys because this is the first time that anyone really outside of my family or our crew has seen our business in this type of capacity, which is exciting for me. So one of the ways that I find myself to be thankful and blessed is being able to share this gift that I've been given and that my family has been given with you guys and with our community and outward. So yet again, super thankful to be able to share this with you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Definitely don't be concerned if <laughs> you weren't able to see all the things or if I wasn't able to include all of the details because more than likely you guys will be getting an updated version of the business at some point. Can't promise when, but it's coming. Just bank on that. And definitely know that there will be a lot more business videos to come. Both in vlogs as well as information and educational videos as well. So yet again, I am so glad that you guys stuck around. I hope you enjoyed. So I hope you guys will remember to live faithfully, to lead courageously, and to love unconditionally. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.